Hi, my name is Jeff Bocor, Automation Key Account Manager for Advantech. I'm going to be sharing a couple case studies with you today involving automation and highlighting some Advantech products used in those applications. But first, let me talk about a few market trends in automation. Andrew Yang stated during his recent presidential run that 80% or more of jobs that make $20 or less are subject to automation in the near future. This trend has been further exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Humans can get sick from COVID, but obviously machines can't. And with the rising cost of healthcare and other benefits and labor costs, employers are looking to reduce these costs when possible through automation. Some other industries are seeing a lack of skilled labor for their particular businesses. And thus it is essential that they look to automation to fill those gaps. I think this can be best exemplified in the agricultural sector where agribots are beginning to pop up more and more. In the US, immigration has trended net negative in recent years as conditions in Central America improve, coupled with more strict border protection in the US. With the dwindling number of available young workforce, the workers that uh, farmers are getting tend to be older or not well suited for the backbreaking work of planting and harvesting crops. Thus, if the farmer is unable to get the right crew for the job, then the crops can potentially die on the vine and the farmer will incur unrecoverable losses. The backbone of all this automation and control is data. Data must be collected, analyzed, and sometimes acted upon. These systems are sometimes referred to as SCADA systems and are essential to the automation process. So the first case study I'm going to talk about today is a major theme park in the Florida area. In order to get a complete 360 degree view of everything going on in the park, they have a central messaging system, again, sometimes referred to as a SCADA system, that ties into every aspect of the park, collecting data and sending that data into one central data repository. The same system is then used to automate or control these various things throughout the park. The customer in this situation required a high performance computer with PCI and PCIe expansion capability, but in a small form factor. They also required a rugged unit with extended temperature to deal with some of the harsh environments that these units would live. So for this application, the customer is using the ARC 3530F with a 7th gen Intel Core i7 CPU and DDR memory. They are realizing significant performance improvements over previous generations. Uh, the unit is uh, configured with one PCI and one PCIe slot, giving them flexibility to use legacy IO cards, but also to move to newer PCIe cards for future requirements. The customer is also attracted to the high performance utilizing up to 65 watt desktop CPUs for such a small compact size and fanless operation. These units are also configured with Advantex SQ Flash and SQ RAM which are purpose-built for industrial applications giving them extended temp operation, reliability, long product life cycles, and a single throat to choke, if you will, for any quality concerns. Other applications continue to arise within the park. One such application is in their textile group, which is monitoring and controlling laundry facilities within this and multiple different parks under their umbrella. Uh, they have a couple different configurations, some that require more than two PCI PCIe slots, they also have requirements for additional HDMI and Ethernet ports. In order to give them maximum flexibility, we recommended the MIC 770 series. Driven by an 8th generation Core i series CPU and DDR4 memory, they can realize an additional 30 to 40% performance increase over and above the ARC 3530. Now, the base MIC 770 unit does not have native PCI or PCIe slots. However, with our iModule expansion series, you can expand the unit 
by adding one, two, or up to four additional PCI, PCIe slots. The MIX-770 has proprietary FIO and iDoor slots as well that can be used to add additional interfaces such as HDMI ports, additional Ethernet ports, and more. In this particular application, they were able to use the FIO to add additional gigabit Ethernet ports, uh, which saved them an additional NIC card and iModule slot. With the ultimate flexibility of the MIX-770, the customer is looking to standardize on it across all of their requirements and then configure with the various iDoor, iModule, and FIO add-ons to customize for each particular application. Now I'd like to introduce uh, product manager Charlie Wu to talk more about these and other automation products from Advantech. Charlie? Thank you, Jeff. Hi, this is Charlie. I'm the product manager for Advantech System Solution Group. As Jeff has already mentioned, some of the um, computer solutions such as ARC 1550 and MIC770. In this session, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the high-level overview of the uh, embedded computer solution that's designed for the automation world. First one up is the ARC embedded computer. The ARC is a ruggedized embedded PC that Eventech has designed for various different type of automation application. It features different size, um, different CPU performance level, and is modularized for um, I.O. add-on, so it can be used to uh, fit different type of applications needed. Some of the features for the ARC including completely fanless design. Yes, every single ARC system is completely fanless. And that's been, that's been done by um, advanced thermal design. Also, because of advanced thermal design, many of them are capable of doing extended temperature and some of the system can sustain minus 30 to plus 70 degree operating temperature when coupled with extended temperature DRAM and storage. The system will also support um, wide voltage input as optional feature and it can support from 9 volts up to 36 volts that can fit a wide variety of different automation applications. Um, it also has the anti-vibration capability so that means it can withstand most of the vibration that you will find within the most of the typical factory. It also has modular design that allows some add-on modules to expand upon the existing I.O., which I will go over in the next slide. So we have three different series of the ARC. The first one is the ARC 1000 series that's ultra compact. And Within this, it's literally palm size. This computer is very small. Um, we offer both the Atom level and the uh, low power core IU series. Then there is the ARC 2000. The 2000 series is a slightly larger computer. It features more I.O. Um, as a standard feature, and it also supports either the Intel Atom or the core IU U series low power um, core I computer. It also features the iDoor module and the, uh, the second layer, add-on layer for additional I.O. so it can support additional COM port, Ethernet port, digital I.O.s, and also um, LVDS, LPT port as option. The ARC 3000 series are the flagship. They are the high performance computer that features desktop computer but still operate completely fanless. It has add-on I.O. card slots for you to add additional um, I.O. card that can connect to various different type of uh, machinery that's within the factory automation application. Next one up is the MIC series. It stands for Modular IPC. And similar to the ARC, it's also designed with completely fanless in mind. And the more important design feature for the MIC is the modularized feature of it, which it features several different of the uh, second layers that allows expansion of the different um, I.O. cards and to the point of being able to support high performance add-on cards such as the NVIDIA graphic cards. 
Here's a quick one, it's just to show you that there are different layers that can support single, that can support duo, and it can support medium performance all the way to the extreme high-end performance of the graphic card for AI rendering applications based on the different type of second deck that you choose. And also, the, expen ex the expansion modules that's available um, allows uh, optional features such as uh, removal hard drive bay, so you can do a quick hard drive swap. That means the system on top of that can also be used as a um, server application as well. Now, other than the MIC, there are also um, other IPC uh, systems, including the uh, AIMC and also the AIIS. The AIMC are compact box computers that has a uh, motherboard inside. It's not fanless, but it can be utilized within the factory floor for um, machinery automation application. And the AIIS are a system that's designed specifically for machine vision, for optical inspections, and um, other um, machine vision related type of application. So above are a quick overview of the different type of the uh, systems that we have embedded rugged eye systems, either in fanless arc or the modular IPC, IPC systems that's suitable for different type of uh, automation applications. Thank you very much. And back to you, Jeff. Thank you, Charlie. So now I'd like to talk about another case study. This particular customer is a leading automation company in the parcel and packaging space, and they have developed a self-serve pharmacy kiosk. As you might imagine, with the onset of COVID-19, anything that can help to minimize human-to-human -human contact is a hot commodity right now. And this application uh, certainly hits that sweet spot. The unit itself has separate vendor intake and client retrieval interfaces. So the pharmacist can be behind the counter checking in prescriptions at the same time customers are retrieving theirs. The vendor intake side is currently utilizing our ARC 1550 embedded computer. With Intel Core i5 ultra low voltage CPU, uh, this provides the additional horsepower needed to manage the system as a whole, as well as interfacing with the pharmacist to check in the prescriptions. The unit also interfaces with several PLCs used for automation inside the kiosk. Longevity is another important criteria for this machine as FDA regulations make it difficult, if not impossible, to do redesigns for end-of-life components. So the computers must be available for a long period of time. Seven to ten years has been typical for embedded-based products uh, from Intel. However, as Intel has moved to 15-year embedded roadmap on its 40 nanometer and newer products, Advantech is targeting a 10 to 15 year window for availability with all new products. With that said, the customer is targeting to migrate to the ARC 1551, which is the next generation of the ARC 1550. The 1551 is utilizing eighth generation ultra low voltage Core R5 CPU and thus is offering this kind of longevity as well as increased performance. Reliability is also key, so the fanless design is important as well as Advantech's reputation for quality and reliability. On the client side, the customer is using the ARC 1124. This palm-sized Celeron N3350 base computer is again fanless, long life, reliable, and is a great fit for this less CPU intensive application. The small size is also key as the kiosk is expandable to up to three different client interfaces and thus real estate can be at a premium. Each of these computers hooks up to a 20 inch touch monitor where it accepts the user input, interacts with the vendor intake PC and PLCs, to direct the appropriate actions to retrieve the prescriptions. So that's the end of my case studies. If you're interested in taking a deeper dive and learning more about these products, or if you have other requirements, please reach out to your local Advantech Key Account Manager, 
or you can reach out to me at jeffrey.bocor at advantech.com or Jeff Boker on LinkedIn. Have a great day and thanks for joining.